Hello and welcome to the Book of Me written by you, Prompt 6. This week we're going to be looking at diaries and journals. So probably a list of some famous diary writers. Samuel Pepys is absolutely my favourite. He captures so much of London in the 1660s and gives us a real insight to how life was. It manages to capture as part of that is the coronation of Charles II in 1661 the plague in 1665 and then the great fire of london in 1666 i will put all these links onto the facebook group so that if you want to go and explore any of them you can and you haven't got to worry about lifting off from the slide the next one is lewis carroll the writer of alice in wonderland who is in fact buried in my hometown in guildford and frank the young 16 year old jewish girl who lost her life through the holocaust um, i've actually been to her house in amsterdam and it was truly a remarkable experience um, i went there when i was about 14 so it's that has lived with me through the, my whole of my life and i've read her book several times virginia wolf harry truman his diaries actually are really interesting because he tells you what he thinks at the end of the second world war when he's meeting people like stalin and I think that that's really quite interesting around how from probably from that meeting and the decisions that were taken in that time that we then live for another 40 years with the Eastern Bloc and the events that in Russia. So I think that is an interesting diary to have a look at. And I've dipped into it several times through the course of my research. And then, of course, Queen Victoria and Queen Victoria's journals have been made, have made available by the Queen um, in a celebration of her jubilee and perhaps you so we come back to this week's question do you keep a daily diary or journal do you perhaps keep both what do they mean to you when did you start and what sort of information do you record do you simply record an appointment or do you go a bit more in depth and talk about what you did how you felt what the weather was like how do you keep a journal? Is it written? Or are you belonging to a group of electronic journalers? Uh, and there's a few sites online where you can sign up to an account and you can simply email your thoughts, attach any pictures and things that you want to use and email them into the account. It's a new way of journaling. Apparently, it's going to be a nice, easy way of doing it. I'm not sure about the security aspect of it in terms of could it be hacked? but perhaps you that's how you keep your journal if you have written a journal do you always buy the same one or do you buy whatever takes your fancy what are your plans for the success of your journals and diaries so what happens to them when you're no longer here are you going to leave them to somebody in your family are you going to leave them to a library or a museum or are you perhaps going to destroy them do you include pictures and other items as a way of recording events? I've included over the years various bits and pieces that I've popped into my, um, not physically into the journal, but I've attached in some way. Perhaps I have it elastic banded into the front of the journal or, or I've got a little box that I tend to put bits and pieces in. Um, probably the most unusual thing is I have a tin can that did at one point hold beer. Um, the beer was drunk the can was flattened i bought that back from australia uh in 1992 so another 21 years on and i still have that can flattened and it's still empty but i still have it and it's an unusual item but it means something to me what do you use to write your journal a special pen a fountain pen or do you just grab anything to hand and have you inherited any journals what what do you think of those journals that you've inherited anything that you've read surprised you and what are your plans for them so what now that's quite a lengthy list and i'm guessing you're all thinking oh my word and a little overwhelmed that's okay take a few minutes and just collect your thoughts perhaps reread or review this presentation again Perhaps you've never kept a journal and wish you did. Or do you perhaps always start a journal on the 1st of January and by the 5th you've given up? So what makes you stop? Do you keep a blog? And is your blog really your journal? I know many of you are keeping your book of me as a journal in a private format. 
is that something that you did prior to starting the book of me or is it something that you have started since you've been doing that um or have you always had a blog where you've recorded all sorts um i think it's a real distinction between actually what is the purpose of a blog and if it's around sharing with the wider um genealogical arena your thoughts research plans holidays photos whatever then that's fine or have you taken it a step further and you'll perhaps have a blog that perhaps only you ever see and you write or perhaps just a few people so how about keep a journal of events and thoughts for the next week or so and we can perhaps catch up with this as part of the next book of me hangout which i thought we would do on the 14th of october um i haven't got any time next week but that's around you know it's about two weeks time um we're having another hangout today actually today's friday the 4th so that would be quite good it gives you kind of 10 days really that you could perhaps keep um keep some kind of journal or do you perhaps not want to perhaps write if you don't want to perhaps why you don't want to um or do you believe actually live for now and don't worry about anything else um but i think that would be a nice exercise that'd be a really nice discussion point actually just to see who is keeping a journal or who perhaps who kept a journal of what they've done for the last two weeks and i think that if you decide to do that and you're thinking well i don't do anything that's important just think a moment and think actually if you had a journal from somebody that was written in 1660 and all it said was got up made my bed made some tea that actually would just would give you insight into your ancestor so you shouldn't be dismissive of perhaps what we assume as just a basic existence in terms of doing a regular task because actually if we knew how samuel peeps made a cup of tea that would give us a bit of insight into what he did what he liked and i think it's important that we capture even those little incidentals and that's what the book of me is all about so i hope you've enjoyed this week's prompt or i hope you will enjoy this week's prompt and thank you for joining me um, this is going to be a really good prompt i know more importantly though don't be overwhelmed but have fun and i'll see you in week seven